morning, everyone. Welcome to Cooking with Nancy O and Rick. I don't know. We might have to change that name yeah. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always and Rick. So anyway, we're very excited to be here today, as always. Um, we are going to do something with our acorn squash that we grew over the summer. I don't know if you remember me telling you we had a bumper crop, but you should see where our towers are right now. We've been doing the progression pictures for you. So we have a picture for you of week four, six, and eight. And when you see this, you are going to be amazed at how it has grown. And we have actually been harvesting off of the towers and eating them, uh, eating salads off of them. And it, it just smells so wonderful in the basement, doesn't oh. it? We are doing this in the corner of our basement. We now have... That is the first one we planted, but we have two more on the opposite sides that we're growing even more vegetables because we are so much loving these fresh vegetables. Our body is craving them because we've been on this routine now. And I never thought in my whole life I would ever crave a vegetable because I wasn't raised with a lot of vegetables. Hence the cooking show because I grew these beautiful acorn squash. What do you do with an acorn squash? I never ate one as a kid or growing up. Did you, Rick? No. No. So it's really been fun. Um, we love to cook together. So it's been a lot of fun doing this. And uh, you can see we have one, two. We got, we've cut one up already and pre-cooked it. We have one sitting over here ready to be um, set and ready to go. And we're just really excited about all these vegetables. I have a feeling we're gonna love this dish so much that we're gonna end up serving it on Thanksgiving because it is something so different. We did something similar with summer squash back, what was it, about a month ago maybe. Yeah. And this is kind of similar to it, but it's gonna taste, it's gonna have the acorn squash taste. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so we have our acorn squash in here. We're, we have some garlic powder and some, what else, Rick? Salt? Salt, oh. the dried basil. Oregano. 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 And thyme. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll have the recipe on the website. Um, we Now you'll notice these cute little dishes I'm using. I, I use these every week, guys. I talk to you about my cooking stones every single week. I absolutely love them. Well, I decided to reach out to my friend Katie, and we are going to start putting her link on our website so she can have some credit for this. If you guys are interested in ordering these products we use, go to her website. She's a fantastic person and we just love her to death. And all of these things that we use on the cooking show um, came from Pampered Chef. And so she is a Pampered Chef consultant and she loves what she does. And so and if you want to reach out to her for a party, absolutely do that. She's a fantastic person. So, and you'll notice, we'll, I always talk about how I love my stones. That's what they are as Pampered Chef stones. Here, yes, here. Rick gave me my stone to show you. And this is a very uh, seasoned stone and that's the way they should be. Just like when we use our cast iron, which came from Pampered Chef, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get into how to cut the acorn squash. Rick is gonna demo how to clean it here. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. On the acorn squash, you already cut the top and the bottom off. And then we're going to let you go. He's going to cut it in half and he's going to take the seeds out. This is a fantastic, easy thing to make. If you can't cut that, you just caught your husband. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they, they're very um, solid. Solid, hard. Um... It's like cutting into a pumpkin, but smaller, right? Yeah. We cut up a, a big pumpkin. My neighbor didn't want her pumpkin. They, she gave it to us and we have pumpkin seeds made now. And when the grandkids come, they eat them. You could do the same thing with the acorn squash seeds if you want. You can dry them and replant them next year if that's something you want to do. Oh, this even smells like yeah. fresh squash. It's oh, good. guys, once you start dealing with the fresh like this, oh, when you smell it, it's like, oh, wow, that's like heaven. And I know that sounds crazy. But we've been at this for so long now that um, we're really enjoying it. Here, let me move that out of sure. the way. He's going to show you how to slice this. Can I move this? Can you talk? Yeah. 
So they wanted it cut in about one inch size pieces. So that's what I'll, I'll do. And you can see that the, the skin on it is pretty, pretty tough. tough. So make sure you have a nice sharp knife or one that you can work with easy and a nice cutting board. <laughs> Look at that. So, and then we'll get the other one done. Be ready for the good part. Got my Ziploc bag ready. This is all going to be mixed in a Ziploc bag, guys. That's why I love this. Um, and you put every, Rick pre-made it for me while I was getting some other things together this morning. And you put all these ingredients in the Ziploc bag. Yes, you? I did. And then we're going to throw the acorn squash in there and mush it around. And that's how easy it is. So if you grew, or you know what? I was at the grocery store yesterday. They have bundles of squash everywhere. They're not just for decoration like I thought growing up. So we have our spices here. And the recipe for a full batch is a um, teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of ba uh, dried basil, half a teaspoon of thyme, and oregano. So we're just going to throw this in. Here, Rick, you want to throw that in for me? This is Parmesan cheese. It calls for finely grated. This is, we had shredded. And so I'm just going to mix that up a little bit to kind of blend it. Well, that was easy. Yeah. All right. Now, are you, did you find putting the oil in last? Yeah. I okay. Oil in last. So he's going to throw in the acorn squash. Guys, you see how easy this is? The longest part to do this recipe is it has to bake for like 20 to 25 minutes. So we're going to drizzle our oil in there. I'm going to hurry up and try to seal this. But sometimes that's the trick. You want to move it around. He's standing there like he wants to take it out of my hand. So I'm going to give it to him. And then we just took it up in the bag, mixed it up real good, and then uh, laid it out on the stone. And anything that was left in the bag, you pull out and set on top of the... Uh, Put on top of the squash so it'll Get the finish it off. Easy that is. Okay. Do you need a tongs? Here. I'll use my finger. Okay. He's going to use his fingers, guys. And then you just lay it on the stones. Now, if you don't have a stone, you're going to have to line parchment paper onto a cookie sheet. So our baking sheet, whatever you call them. And he literally had this baking in the oven and I wanted to eat it this morning. We haven't tasted it yet because that's live on the show. You did fit it all on there. That's great. You got a couple of, oh, one more. Now, what they told, what the direction says is to take this extras and pat it on top of the uh, squash. So then when you toast this, it's going to get a little crunchy. It's going to have nice flavor. You're going to have delicious spices in it. And I can just see this on a platter on, on Thanksgiving being served to my family. We have the whole family coming in this year. And we are so excited to have everybody around our Thanksgiving table. Be the first time in a long time. In about 10 years, I think, that we've yeah. had a holiday with everyone. Okay, look at that. Okay. Did he not do a great job? So that gets put in the oven, let's see, at... Uh, do you know what temperature, Rick? Oh, 425, 425 for 20 to 25 minutes. This is the way we cook back and forth like this all the time. So I'm going to pull out the plate here. And look at that. Didn't that cook fast? <laughs> so this is the one we pre-made. Is that not beautiful? And just to serve something like that on a holiday, I'm going to bring Rick's serving plate over. Okay, let's turn this sideways and get your serving plate in there. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready to taste it? Yeah. Now you guys saw the cooking stone that he put that on. That's also from Pampered Chef. I just wanted to let you know that. Oh, look at how tender he's cutting into that. I want the cheese. And you like the <laughs> I love the crunchies. Okay, here we go. I know it's going to be good. I just know it. It is good. There'll be, we'll have... This with Thanksgiving, probably. So when we grew our, our acorn squash this year outside, that we grow those outside on the towers, we had 12, 13, but something bit into that one, and mm -hmm. it got bad. 
<laughs> so um, we have a bumper crop of acorn squash. So we wanted to demo this because we feel like this is a great product or a great recipe to have on your Thanksgiving table. And it's so festive for this, se this season. You know, we're into the fall, the squashes, the pumpkins and all the different things. And uh, don't forget on pumpkins, you can roast them. You can roast any of these and put them on top of a salad. You could slice this up and serve it right on a salad. Yeah, that'd be you good know. there too. Okay. So I hope you guys got something out of this because we're going to enjoy our veggies for Thanksgiving and um, try the recipe. If you want pre-try, I don't think you need to pre-try. Do you have to pre-try it or is it good? Oh, it, it's good. Okay. Take it's Rick's word for, for it. He loves it. So could make this for Thanksgiving and surprise all your guests because they're going to, they're going to just love this. And how often do you cook acorn squash? So at least in our house, we never do. So they'll be surprised. So I, I do we have anything else that we need to cover? I have no idea what we're going to do next week. I'll come up with something for Thanksgiving because you'll still have two days to prepare for it. And then um, you guys enjoy your week. Have a be safe out there. And we will see you next week. We're excited to share more recipes with you. And we will see you for now. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I gotta try this. Okay. It's good. Real good. It's tender. Mm -hmm. It's got great flavor. Yeah, I like the cheese crunch on it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Fun time. Oh, mm -hmm. We are so good. Yep. <laughs> I love doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the other crunchy stuff. Oh, yeah.